Hello, this is Cloak. That was a little hey, too Cloak convenient. Well. It's who? Along with what I was Wyatt. saying, that you know, they're, they're already. Friends. Oh, hi, Wyatt. Mm -hmm. You want to work? Yeah, Ooh. I'm. I'm working right now. I am. Um, what is going on up there? Oh. I don't know if it's I'm already about here. To, uh, I may be. Oh, I, here, I may be pets. here. Get picked up at some point today, and. What do you mean? I don't who? know. I had a I had a talk with lumber <laughs> people, and I have a feeling as soon Probably as tough. what I said gets back to tap the homies head honcho, it's it's gonna be hunting season on. Wait, are you working right now, like on a truck with people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh God, well, uh, is it? All, do you think you could get away from them and come here and have an in-person conversation with me, so you can tell me kind of like what was said, why you're yeah. worried, and whatnot? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you soon, okay? We, we definitely got uh, it. Where are you at? I'm at the yard right now. All right, yeah, let me see if he can get me to the yard. Okay. All right, see you. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye. Code red, code red, code what red. Happened? What happened? Wyatt, Wyatt sounds like he's gonna die or something today. What? Um. I just saw him earlier. Yeah, apparently they, he had a conversation with the lumber guys and the, he might get picked up. He might, you know, they might kill him. I, I'm not too sure. He's gonna give me the rundown. He's about to head here and we might need to go to a private location and talk oh before we start working. Who, you and him or us? Uh, I believe everybody can be there. Oh my God, man. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just stupid. I don't know. Wait, where the, where'd Jason go? She went that way. Okay. Um. Why do you want this to just be a me you conversation, or do you care if LSD management is here with us? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Here, we'll go find Jason and and uh, and then we should go somewhere else real quick while we have this conversation. I don't want anybody could hear around here. You know what I mean? Prying ears. Um. Why it? Uh, yeah. You, you can maybe you can start telling us right now on the way there. So, I got a call from, I went and talked to one of the lumber people, one of the higher ups, Devon. Mm -hmm. And was talking to him and it was kind of just like hashed out and was kind of going back and forth. I guess they expected me to be some type of gang member and I just I wasn't about it. And... You know, it's, I guess, something that he didn't want to hear. But I know as soon as it gets back to a certain someone, that it's probably going to set him off to the point where he's going to want to try to come finish the job. Wait, but then you, like, I thought you already kind of hashed it out with them. You know, like, why would that set him off if, like, you kind of already, like, talked it out, you know? No, after I left the cove that day, I was told to disappear. So, so why did Drew and Devon have a conversation? So he told me whenever I left the cove that he would give me a call. Because I have no issue with Devon. Like, no issue. But when we started talking, like, it just uh, so much was being brought up about how I, I didn't move the way that they moved and how decisions that I make just wasn't you know how it is and you know how it, it wasn't right for the crew but i mean I was, I was told him i was a fucking i was a lumberjack i sold furniture i sold lumber how am i supposed to know that being a part of something like that means uh, be move like a gang member yeah i don't get it now i mean if that's if they never told you you know what i mean like they can't really expect you to know right that's what I told him, but I mean. So you think he's gonna come and murder you? Yeah. And if I know Jack, yeah. <laughs> did they, he, Devon say anything? Lord, like, uh, do you think uh, he kind of gave out vibes that that you're a goner at all? No, he did. Like. He, he he's the reason why I didn't get shot, right? If it was up to Jack that day, I would have gotten shot. So maybe Devon won't bring this information back to him if he doesn't want you to be shot. 
There's no way he doesn't. Okay, why? Then here's what we gotta do. Does you never told Devon you were working sanitation, right? No, he he knows I'm working sanitation. He knows. Mm-hmm. Oh, why do you tell him that? I don't think he knows I'm working for anybody specifically. Okay, then he probably doesn't know you're kind of working with LSD. You're gonna wear your hat. We're gonna get you some like bright sunglasses. Who knows? You might need to shave your beard. I, I don't know. We you gotta kind of go be under the radar for as long as you can. And uh, it just it sucks so bad, man. Because like it's so petty and so stupid. I have no idea why I have to be a punching bag right now. I think if they didn't finish the job that day in the cove, um, then they probably like aren't gonna finish it today, right? I don't know. I like. I've moved. I've. I want to move on from it so bad. But part of like, there's this like gut pits feeling that is telling me it's. This isn't the last interaction. Have you hit your fifty gold stars? I think I'm like 48, 49. We're gonna hit it today. Um, and then immediately after, we're gonna discuss, you know, bringing you in officially. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think I can maybe speak for everybody in this car. And maybe if I'm wrong, uh, feel free to speak up, uh, you guys behind me. Uh, but I think you're a great addition to LSD. Um, we like the kind of mindset you bring to the table. Not a lot of people come into work like this with your mindset. They're always about a quick buck. Um, not, you know, thinking about the long term and wanting to work from the bottom and make their way uh, kind of just happy where they are or making their way slowly up to the top, you know? And uh, I, I would like to make it official once you hit your 50 gold stars. And uh, we kind of do... I haven't talked to Mr. Lang about this yet. Maybe I should have today. Maybe he might be around later and I can maybe guarantee your protection. That would be nice. Worth. But the thing is, Wyatt, like, uh, we aren't the criminal organization, but if you, if I have to guarantee your protection, if I have to do these things and go out of my way to talk to Mr. Lang for you, um, that means you, you're you in. You know what I mean? You got to be oh, for in sure. for the long term. And so I just want to talk about this right now. Do you think you're you're in it for the long term with us? Do you like yeah, being with uh, us? There is that my... Like, like I said before, once I start something, then I finish it. I'm, I'm here... I'm here until, and I don't think it ever to come to this. I'm here until I'm told to not be here, if that makes sense. So I'll do whatever needs to be done, do whatever trash job needs to be done. That's, um, I'm here to work. Okay. Um, I, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't know the whole situation of what happened. <laughs> Um, with you leaving Lumber and joining Sanitation. But if it's just a situation of you're not the right fit for the job, why are they making such a big deal out of it? I could give you the TLDR. Yeah, you might um, want to tell her the whole story. Okay. So, there was... Somebody that had twatted on Twatter about the Lumber Co, about how, you know, was dragging Lumber Co's name through the dirt about wood prices. So I called that person just to see if there was anything that we could do to maybe, you know, get them to buy wood from us. Mm -hmm. As soon as he found out, found out that I was Lumber Co, the conversation got heated. Talking to me like saying this saying that and so i defended myself defended the company that i spent two months trying to build 
and told him to go chop his own wood. Okay. And he didn't like that. Well, my luck would prove that it happened to be a gang leader that I said that to. And mm -hmm. later they set me up on a furniture deal and robbed me and stabbed me. Oh. That got back okay. to the crew. And, you know, they, it was, uh, <laughs> the immediate reaction was, Wyatt, how could you? Wyatt, how are you so naive? Wyatt, should have seen that coming. It's an obvious setup. Wyatt this, Wyatt that. They call the guy up, ask for the stuff back. The guy refuses. That's when they get a rise and saying, okay, we're going to go mess him up, you know, X, Y, Z. So they do. They end up in prison. The very next day, I see that they're in prison. I'm at the showroom. They circle the showroom like seven times. I can't leave the house. Mm -hmm. So I call that person to see if there's anything that could be done to put it behind us. And some offers was made. When I took that back to the crew, it was seen as a dishonor to the crew, embarrassing. Um, some other choice words. And so that made them look weak. Okay, so and that it made uh, them look weak. So okay, so, uh, oh, there's I, there's more. Okay, um, but if you are you just chop wood and sell furniture, how are you going to know all of this if they don't tell you? Like, how would you literally? Know? Like, I don't. I dealt with something similar recently, not to this magnitude, but I was just like, how am I supposed to know? I don't learn through osmosis. <laughs> you know what I mean? How were you supposed to know? I don't understand why they're upset over their own lack of communication. I have no idea. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll, because, I'll let you continue. It's because, it's because the, the, the company itself, like... It was a crew and a company at the same time. So there was no divide. So where I was in the position that I was, you know, helping with everything on the lumber and the furniture side, I sat in on, you know, different things that was said between the group, if that makes sense. So I heard oh, things, okay. you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. I see. And so... After all that, and I try to defend myself, I get taken to a cove, and I get two options. I get shot, or I disappear. At that point, I was done. I was over it. I told them I choose to be shot. And then, obviously, didn't get shot. Devon told me he was going to give me a call. And he gave me a call and pretty much just rehashed exactly what was said when we was all talking about it the first time. Booby Smoke, thank you so much for subscribing with the so tier one. Guys, can we get some hearts in the chat for Booby Smoke? Thank you so much. Jack, and it's just going to rekindle it, and he's going to come after me to try to finish the job. Because you disappeared like they wanted you to? Yep. I, I'll be I've been a punching bag for them for literally months and anything that I've ever tried to do for them to help them with it, it's just been why why would you do this why why would you do that as I'm doing everything that I can to make sure that you know they have all the lumber that they have furniture sales that they have money to do this they have money to do that like it's It's been so exhausting. Did you have the meeting already? Yes, we did. So exhausting. Now that I, is now why. I, I feel like I, I, I don't know why I'm having to live in fear, but like it's, I know exactly. I know exactly what's about to come. This is exactly why like you that, separate that crime that, and there's business. There's no way that 
so annoying. Because I don't want to be a part of it anymore. I tanked all my stars with Axel. I have zero. I just want to just be gone of it, you know? Yeah, I mean, you were kind of already at the point of no return when you, like, kind of made the decision to come work with us. Um, so, yeah, you're kind of in deep. Um, but like I said, uh, I think you're all... I believe you're all in with us. Uh, guys, uh, Jason, Boo, do you have any uh, any more questions or concerns or... I don't know. I don't believe you, any of you guys have a problem with Wyatt. No, I do not. No. Okay. Then uh, that makes things official then. The moment you hit your 50 gold stars today is the moment you'll officially become one of us. Um, but there's kind of like no going back. I mean, we aren't like a criminal organization or anything. Like if you really like started hating the trash, of course, like you could go do other things. But like if I'm going to risk my neck of, you know, getting protection for you and making sure that uh this this jack guy doesn't come for you um I, I need you to be all in you know what i mean oh i'm i'm like i said i'm i'm here to work and what i'm i'm where the work's at i just want to uh i want to do y'all proud and i know you will so, Wyatt, when you get your 50 gold stars a day, you'll officially become one of my people, and that immediately means you'll have protection, okay? And I'll make sure uh, that nothing happens to you. Do I get stabby stab? I mean, if he comes for you while we're on the truck, I mean, we'll, we're definitely, uh, we'll definitely stab in defense, of, uh, in defense of Wyatt. But... I'm and hoping that guess... uh, Jack kind of... Jack should know better that... He knows that I'm, that I'm Lang CEO for LSD. Um, so really, if he knows that you're with us, he should probably should know. He might go through Lang and try to get permission to do something. But if I get to Lang first and be like, Wyatt is an asset. He's one of my people. I need, I need the protection for this guy. I need you to tell Jack no. Um, I don't really know the relationship between them. I know that they do have dealings together, is what the Jack told me the one day that he tried to get an order from me and tried to strong arm me. Um, so I, I believe they have some sort of relationship. I don't really know the extent, but I do know that Mr. Lang has a lot of connections in the city. Don't really know the extent of that either, but... He probably will just listen to whatever Mr. Lang has to say. I don't know. Can you expand on that, Wyatt? I don't know if you know much about their relationship. I, to an extent, I know there's things that they do. <laughs> the things that Give me the uh, meta. <laughs> they talked about, but. That's, uh, that's between Jack and Lang. I don't, it's none of my business. He didn't want to. That's okay. I don't really need it like anyway. I said, whenever I, when I left and they told me to leave and I got out of that cove, like anything and everything, what they do business wise, like it's, it's none of my business anymore. Yeah, I don't, I don't even don't believe it's really, like, the business side of things. It's kind of like, you, you know how uh, the Lumber Co's problem was that they, like, mixed business with, like, the crime? The crime side of things? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I don't believe uh, some people were discussing do that, so... And that's kind of why it's very nice that how we go about things with LSD uh, just being a fully clean business. It just doesn't get messy in that way. So you'll never have to worry about that with us. That is refreshing. 
Oh, and uh, all I've wanted to do is just work. Well, let's go get the work. Let's go get you your 50 gold stars. You're one of us, Why? I, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out for you, okay? Alright. I'm not gonna let him murder you. you. I will not. I don't want to be murdered. 